According to the president, 1.3 million children have benefited from the free SHS policy, which comes with its own challenges. He enumerated some successes, chalked with respect to the examination results of some beneficiaries. I can state without equivocation that I'm very proud of the policy and of its results thus far. Yes, there have been challenges associated with this policy, for which government has addressed substantially many of them. And there will be more in the course of time. Such is the nature of social evolution, so that at every stage, the challenges will be met. Lest we forget, the 2021 batch of students who also obtained very commendable results were the pioneers of the double track system, which elicited a lot of vilification and unfounded criticism on its introduction. Indeed, the pass rate in the free senior high school era has seen systematic improvements on the over the pre-free senior high school era. And the 2022 results are the best of the last eight years. Surely, there can no longer be any controversy about the validity of the free senior high school policy and its consequential measures. It is working and working well. In spite of current economic challenges, budgetary allocation for the policy implementation has increased from 2.3 billion cities to 2.96 billion cities. The president has called for support in the implementation of outlined policies of the government. That in spite of the economic difficulties confronting our nation, government has devoted even more resources for the running of the free senior high school policy. From a budget of 2.3 billion CDs in 2022, a 28.6% increase has been applied to this year's budget for free SHS, i.e. 2.96 billion CDs. The 70th anniversary of Opokuari School was attended by Asantehene Otunfo Osei Tutu II, among other dignitaries. It was on the theme seven decades of leadership through self-discipline. Management of the school is calling on the government to resume a renovation project that has stalled for months. Headmaster, Reverend Father Stephen Osusetre spoke at the ceremony. We extend a word of gratitude to all past members of management and staff who, over the years, through dedication and commitment to duty, have contributed to the success stories of this school. With hearts full of gratitude, we acknowledge the hard work of the current members of management and staff. We appreciate you for holding on to the legacy of your predecessors. Please continue to remain focused and work hard to bring our school to greater heights. Already, old students of the school are devoting resources into an investment account to support future renovation projects. For Joy News, Nanea Ojima Kumasi.